vibrant and light and controversial TKO win by Frotch. Boxing calendar. This has been hitting Frotch over Twitter day after day after day. What's remarkable about what you point out, Jim, is to stop this young kid from antagonizing him? Giving Groves the opportunity. And if you've watched Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko in recent years, you've seen the increasing bent in Europe. Ring. Their first fight. And normally the fighter who has the stoppage win has a psychological approach. To present the rematch from Hammersmith. Goes now. Come on. The fighter's power right now. <laughs> Nobody watching the first fight so far who seems to be applying the pressure. Just for has shown Frotch. You've touched each other up with the jam. So I would suspect that he when he gets inside Groves, who I think does a good hit on Frotch's shoulder. Flattened. assert himself a little bit more in the second half of this round. Your jab. And he better use it. In Suspect that part of Frotch's early round strategy is to kill. He's working exclusively. Their first fight, partly because of the nervous energy. Looks like a fight could break out at any second, but the second time around. And the right hand, right hand of his own. He has to loop it in order to have... Giving Groves a very good target. Frost doesn't even seem comfortable on defense right there. See that? Head straight up in the air. He just doesn't seem comfortable. And then up to the head with the... Normally, free win for Groves. Not a lot. But Groves appears to be confusing Frotch somewhat. And Frotch gets in a hard right hand. Good job, Jim. Yeah, Groves likes to line everything. Let's go. But when he lets it... Superior and more purposeful than Fratches. Most definitely. Good left hook and another... Exchanges as they were early in the first fight are not... Land a big bomb. Not high because he gets punished after he punches. The first three. He's in the third round. I also established... So asked in the eyes of our unofficial, the more technical, the more responsible defender early in the fight. Right hand over the winning in this fight. So be the boxer, and that's what. Rotch would say first fight. Porter told him not. A good jab by Groves. Jab up, still been able to put that kind of combination together so far in the fight. But he's forcing. Working the jab, up. And that was left hook by. Is that there or oh, that goes? Maybe his is sapping his. Good jab by Groves. They are front lands the jab where they both land the jab. They exchange jab, then Groves hit him with a good right hand. And that was a three-body shot. Changed the fight. Let's see if Frotch paid attention to what he did after our unofficial. Put a right hand. Botch could do his close. Yeah, after he punches, he's never. Hard right hand by Frotch. Momentarily wobbled Groves. Frotch trying to go to the body and follow up. Frotch. And his. Groves trying to right hand across the top. Shots by Frank. Well, we were waiting for the war to break out, Max. And now it appears that when it starts to go wrong for Groves a little bit, it can be a glimmer of his and his big chin and his higher. He see Frost constantly on attack. Then he goes to that body again. Very small Groves hurt. Gave up a little head shot for it, but he did a good They see him land a good jab, probably the best jab he's it's on official scorecard. Frotch is more advantage that Frotch has shown, where he's just more relaxed than Groves.
able to preserve his conviction. It is good for Groves against like side. When Groves throw it, Jab can help keep him off. We truly stopped again. Forget what happened last time. There is City Cross. When Jab, it disrupts Frotch's rhythm. Begins to emerge. He's not to be overactive with the right hand. He's going to Frotch gets Greisfeld. How do you have it through some... Frotch's head with his mind games. Tremendous heart and determination. Rounds five and six as well. Two points. Hard left hook. Whoa. I couldn't tell if that was a jab or a hook. It was more like a jab hook. It wasn't a complete hook. Hook it enough for me to call it a hook. <laughs> yeah, because Frotch is... That has been open all night, like you said, man. Hand. And Groves just with the left arm. Frotch also is, I thought, hurt Groves in this fight with the power punch jabs at times. Jab back here in round number seven. Since that Patty Fitzpatrick has once again told <laughs> something to calm on, but Groves in their first fight into here in round seven. Groves seems to have made to trade as frequently with Carl Frotch and has had a much better round as a result. Although here's Frotch at it again. Yeah, Frotch changes the fight with one body shot and a flurry of body max because the shots definitely will be there. Gave the preceding round to Frotch. By my lights, that round was the best right hand lead. I've seen Frost throw all night. The hook is wide open. Corner of your screen visible with the cornrows on top of his head. Same. Then he switched to Patty Fitzpatrick, who obviously had a smashing debut, at least in the first several rounds. Frotch. Groves trying to meet in the center of the ring now. Oh, good. And right down hand. goes Groves on a perfect right hand shot. And the referee's going to stop the fight. Groves does not get a chance to get up and recover from the knockdown instead once again right. but that underlines